Hello and welcome to Michelle McDaniel Incorporated. Recently, Michelle McDaniel Incorporated made a post on TikTok and it comes to this company's attention that it hurt many random people's feelings. This company is aware that it's 2022 and the world is changing for the better and many companies are taking accountability for their toxic behavior. So with that in mind, Michelle McDaniel Incorporated wanted to publicly state, Let's be clear, I did absolutely nothing wrong. I'm not to blame, it's not my fault. This is just to say, if you had scrolled like every day this all would have just blown away but now we're gonna make a video i'll just profit off of all of this i'll be doing just fine today is gonna be a great day except for you because you'll be triggered anyway i hope my louise ears was in frame this whole time otherwise that was a freaking waste anyway let's start you see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This video is sponsored by me and my protein donut company and my weight loss support group. For more information, click the links below in my description and thank you all for the support. Okay, we're taking these off because they're not even in frame. And we need to remove this because I'm not here to make everybody happy. Hi, welcome to my channel. Subscribe, please. We have manners here. Sometimes. Today we're just talking about people who are mad at me about a video or a post and just had to tell me about it. As many of you know, all of you, every single one, because you're invested in my life completely, I know it. <laughs> I joined TikTok because somebody called me out in the comment section and said, Michelle, you didn't even try TikTok. You didn't put the effort in. You just judged it. You judged it like the obese women from the fat acceptance movement. And I was like, first of all, how dare you critique me? And second, you're totally right. I did. And something you're supposed to do on TikTok is what is trendy and what is trendy right now? What I eat in a day as a fat person videos. This is what a fat girl eats in a day. For breakfast, I had a gingerbread latte from Costa and a cinnamon bun. This was actually so good, you know? I feel like a warm gingerbread latte is what I needed this morning, you know? I needed it to fuel me. What I eat in a day as a fat woman who doesn't want to lose weight. I start off with a donut and frozen lemonade from Tim's. What I eat in a day as an obesity influencer, 15,000 calories. A fatty fat bitch eats in a day. So I started off with a sausage, bacon, and cheese bap. But oh my god, what the hell am I gonna do? I'm not fat. How am I gonna label it so that I look really trendy and unique to people on TikTok? I know. I'll just say what I eat in a day as a non fat person. Boom! Still trendy. Still cool. Not so much. People were so mad. So we're just here to read the comments about a label that I gave to myself on my account that is an accurate label. <laughs> you can't judge someone's health just by their weight. Weight might cause future issues, but she doesn't know if someone is sick. I eat just like her, but I don't look like her. I'm sure she will think I'm sick too, but I'm healthy as I can be. I think it's just so um, cute and adorable and think so highly of themselves. I just love the confidence, but they think that I just know who they are. I have no clue who Jojo Jojo is, unless you're Mojo Jojo. Uh, then I do know who you are and you're crazy and you do offensive things every day to the Powerpuff Girl, so calm down. But if you are not Mojo Jojo, I don't know who you are. I never judged anybody's health. I just said that I, what I eat a day is a non-fat person. That shouldn't do anything to you at all. Weight might cause future issues, but she doesn't know if someone is sick. At least in this video, I know Never said anything about nobody else except for me and a trending TikTok label. And then the part that says I eat just like her I have never said that if you eat just like me, you're gonna look like me. You're gonna sprout black skin. You're gonna get curly hair, big old forehead. What I like to call a seven head. No, it really is a seven head. Look, right to my eyebrows. Two, three, four, five. Oops, five, six. I still have space. Seven. But Jojo Jojo, you have to be really into yourself and self-centered if you think my video is about you when I never mentioned you or anybody else. Also, just because you eat just like me doesn't mean that you won't be obese. You can completely overeat on healthy food. So that fight that the body positive individuals or just people in general say, if we just ate like, like all the other fit people, like just like them, we wouldn't look like them. No shit. One, you're not them. You have a different body structure. And two, y'all can't control the amount of food you intake at the moment. Visually lean people can and do. That's why they are visually lean. People who overeat do not look visually fit. You can overeat on healthy food. 
I've done it. Peanut butter is considered healthy. I can eat a whole jar of that. Also, many people have different ideas of what health food is. Someone told me in the comment section in my Hot Cheeto video, baked Hot Cheetos are healthy. Honey, if I went with that logic, they're not as good as the regular Hot Cheetos, but I'll still eat them. You want to tell old Michelle who had eating issues that baked Hot Cheetos is healthy? Actually, I think I went down that route before and switched to big. They have the same calories. But you see what I'm getting at? Healthy food is subjective. Overeating healthy food will still cause you to be fat. Okay, Jojo Jojo, I'm 100 kilos, over 200 pounds. Excellent lab results. Just so you guys know, my lab results were coming out great and they still couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. Just because you have good lab results, I mean, it's great they have great lab results, but there's still other issues that could be happening. I eat healthier than anyone I personally know. <laughs> I love this one. When obese people say that they eat healthier than any other person they know. Cause one, a lot of unhealthy people surround themselves with other unhealthy people. They're usually not hanging out with like people that are very health conscious. That's not everybody. Okay, people in the comment section, but most people who are very unhealthy hang out with other people who do unhealthy things. So let's just say old overeating, eats mostly hot Cheetos and McDonald's McFlurries, hangs out with my family, but I do watch what I eat or at least try. I'm the healthiest one out of my whole unhealthy family. That's not very good. It's very easy to be healthier than my family. Just like in Tammy Slayton's family. The healthiest one isn't all that healthy. Whenever people say that, I have to crack up. They always just add these little fillers to try to make themselves look right, but you're not right. Just wrong. You're just wrong, 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 wrong. I work out. Obese people work out. It's possible. The only think is my thyroid, but that's genetic. People with thyroid issues can lose weight. I'm surprised you didn't bring up PCOS too. They usually do, but people with thyroid issues and PCOS can lose weight. It just makes it a lot harder. This is coming from someone who has PCOS and like issues like that to make it super hard to lose weight. It makes it super hard. Someone like me who just wants results now, 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 like most people and I get hyper-focused for some reason and that's all I can think about. If I'm not getting results, what happens? My anxiety skyrockets and then I'm just out there dipping my 24 piece McNuggets in barbecue sauce and ranch. Do you guys do that? Is that still a thing? Or is it a Michelle thing? Girl, be prepared for all the fatties telling you those aren't enough calories when they are more than enough, but they don't know anything about nutrition. So that's kind of what sparked this video is because whenever I post like my food, people are like, oh my God, you're starving. You're promoting anorexia. I'm five foot two and technically I have a desk job. Calm the fuck down. But that same Jojo Jojo person responds. Why are you assuming they are fat? I'm not fat, but I wonder why the non-fat comment was about. It makes no sense. Honestly, you said you weigh over 200 pounds. Depending on your height, weight, muscle mass to body fat ratio, along with your gender, that 200 plus pounds could be quite hefty and qualify you to be obese. Extremely obese if you're short like me. But back to her or him not understanding the point of my video. I mean, if you do just the minimal amount of research, you would understand the connection of the video of saying non-fat. And if you can't do that, you could at least listen to what I said in the video because I literally said I'm labeling it non-fat because I heard people are doing what I eat in a day videos as a fat person. So you could just open your ears a little bit and you would understand, Jojo Jojo. But this person says about my calories, Daddy Thano 69, perfect name. Are you on a cut? That's hella low calories. That's a normal intake. Not everyone has to have 2000 calories, <laughs> LOL. Damn, can't relate. Well, yeah, you are Daddy Thano 69. I am Michelle. McDaniel, a five foot two. I'm a short girl, honey. Why not just say what you eat in a day? What if I made a video but said, as a not black person, like I did something? Well, you did do something. You made a TikTok video. Why would I care? You are a non-black person. Why would I get upset about that? Actually, I would find it very funny. What you are looking for is one of those very woke, sensitive individuals who would get upset about that. This is the wrong wrong channel for that. You know what makes me upset? People who get pets and don't train them and don't take care of them. Now that's what gets me upset. If you're a person like that, you got me. I'm mad at you. But someone labeling their video as a non-black person and they're not black? I wanna get mad about that. Guinea pig diaries, I actually dare you to do it. Nope, I double dog dare you to do it and now you have to. She literally could have just said fit person. Well, someone is already upset. I'm not upset, girly. I'm just saying she could have easily just said fit person. It's way quicker and nicer and better way to not get canceled. And Rihanna's, and what? What could have happened? Oh wait, she says it right here. And or your comment section filled with hate. Ah, gotcha. Uh, comment sections are filled with hate anyway. Kind of just depends on who shares it, who sees it, who's triggered that day. No matter what you post, on Instagram, TikTok, social media in general, someone's gonna be mad. 
just like people were mad when I posted what I eat in a day videos as just what I eat in a day video, minding my own business, showing people who ask what I eat in a day. Simply just showing my food triggered some people. Actually, I was reading, someone posted something, or tagged me in something and I looked it up on Google and I, apparently in the body positive community now posting what I eat in a day videos are damaging. So yeah, I could have said what I eat in a day as a fit person, but I wanted to be quirky and cool and trendy like all the other people saying fat person. Why can't I label myself the way that I want to label myself a non fat person. It's true, it's catchy, and it's my profile. Every single person on this earth could have done something differently, but they decided to do it the way that they wanted to, which is what I did. I mean, it's not about being upset, it's just about having basic human respect, which he obviously doesn't have any. Ah, you're one of those people, the- It's about having basic human respect. Once again, would you guys like me to call myself fat? Wouldn't that be more damaging to people? Even though in the bodybuilding community, many people really struggle with body image issues, body dysmorphia, I still struggle with it sometimes where I think that I'm just obese still or I'm just a misshapen freak and I vocalize that over one of my eating videos, then that would be damaging because Michelle, there's other people bigger than you and your feelings do not matter. Even though you feel that you are obese and you're, you're struggling with body dysmorphia, now other people's feelings are her who clicked on the video willingly. I've seen that happen quite a bit, people will talk about how they want to lose weight or they just are not comfortable with their body or they do not like their cellulite and it's damaging to other people because other people have cellulite. Don't share your feelings, but do share your feelings if you're Tess Holiday and morbidly obese. That's fine. I mean this in the most rude way as possible. Y'all can fuck off with this basic human respect bullshit. You guys only say that when it's something that you just don't agree with. You could give me basic human respect, leaving me the hell alone when I label my body the way that I wanna label it in my safe space. Right, clearly some malicious intent with that wording, but fat people aren't people to anyone on here, so they won't give a fuck, okay? That went a little deep. The amount of, I'm just going to just make a whole story in my head with these people is very high. I don't even think I hinted that I don't think fat people are people. You know who I don't think is a people's? Dogs, because they're dogs. Oh, no, not you, Yoshi. You are a human. You are human. That's why you look like a human. Non-fat and fit are equivalent terms. They both mean practically the same thing. No, laugh my ass off. You can be fat and fit. Lizzo, for example, she's plus size, absolutely gorgeous. She works out and she eats so, so healthy. She's fit. And of course, they have to bring up Lizzo, the goddess of obesity. <laughs> I like the end where she's like, she's fit, period. Y'all, I just saw this one while editing and it is cracking me up. I love you and everything you post and your three babies. Her three babies are gonna end up killing themselves if they get fat and see this is what their mother thinks of them. Enjoy the suicide of her children. Don't pay attention to this because my room always gets very messy when I film, especially when I have different outfits. And do not look at the pile of clothes that I always say is not gonna turn into a pile of clothes when I do laundry because just don't look at it. But you wanna see the kids that are gonna have uh, mental issues because I watch their weight? Let me show you. They're gonna have so much trauma. There she is. There's one. Oh, and uh, there's the other one. And if you hear in the back, here's the third one. That's gonna have a lot of trauma, trauma issues and mental problems. But surprisingly, even though I highlight the angry comments, many people got the joke. I don't get that many angry comments. I really don't. I just think it's funny to see the people that are upset over me saying non-fat when I'm clearly not fat. Moving on to President Joe Biden when he fell off a bike and didn't get hurt, somebody was very, very mad and instead of commenting, they had to send me a message to tell me how upset they were. Eh, that was beneath you. I have fallen off my bike like that before. Hope you do too and see how fucked up it is. Oh Lord, one of those people that uh, take a little funny jokey joke video or meme and they start talking all serious. The funnest people to be around. But I told her that uh, if you watch the video, I have fallen plenty of times. I've actually fallen a few times on a bike. That's what happens when you start riding a bike. I fell a lot. I've fallen so hard before that I broke my arm. I've fallen off my bike before. Okay, many people have. Most people probably have fallen off the bike. And so I'm guessing the point of this message was to say, Michelle, put yourself in other people's shoes that have fallen off the bike. And when I came back and said, um, I've already done that. Plenty of time. She says, I watched the whole thing. Was hoping to see a better side. Oh, I get it. Okay, so you were hoping that I would have the same opinion as you or that I would be coddling President Biden's 
butt cheeks or her ankles from falling. I hate watching people punch down for no reason. No one's punching down. We're laughing at a guy that fell off a bike, which was just looked very random, who didn't get hurt. That's all. It's not that deep. It's really not. I would hate to live in this world where you have to like, micromanage every little thing. It must, you guys, like I have really bad anxiety. Y'all must have extremely bad anxiety if you're constantly thinking, diagnosing, dissecting, and just getting real deep into little topics on the internet. Your channel literally has you inviting people to voice their opinion to you on almost everyone. So I didn't really understand this, but I was thinking that she was saying, well, um, you you invite people's opinions, why aren't you inviting mine? I invited your opinion just fine, Lauren. What I'm saying is, I don't agree. And that's it. And I told her, I'm not too sure what you're expecting by messaging me, what, what I know, what I think, what you guys expect when you message me about something you don't agree with is me to say, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, I see it from your point of view now. Now I all of a sudden do not think that Joe Biden falling off a bike randomly is no longer funny to me. My funny bones don't, don't just spark up and laugh when I think about it. You're so right. Let me change my whole video. Actually, no, my whole channel just for you. <laughs> and then I lick your butt. It's so funny when you guys message me like that with this just like condescending type attitude of this was beneath you. What the fuck? How? You don't know me. It's obviously not beneath me because I did it. It's the same level of those, I'm disappointed in you, Michelle. Who the fuck are you? My mom? And even my mom knows. If you're disappointed, you're disappointed. And I'm still gonna do my Michelle thing, but get your money though, okay? Girl, I will. It's just interesting how everything's great, everything is a good video, until the video relates to something sensitive in your life. Get over it. There's gonna be certain things that you're not gonna find funny or interesting. Move on. Anyway, that's it. Make sure to subscribe. Subscribe to my second channel. It's linked below. Buy yourself a proto. Join my workout and weight loss support group. We are a bunch of nerds in there who hold ourselves accountable. You know, things that people don't do on the internet. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and can see the humor in things instead of being a stuffy stuff stuff face that has to micromanage every little thing. I really appreciate the people that are like that. And I appreciate the people that uh, don't see eye to eye to me and still continue to watch my channel. You are making my dog's life great. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex zone.